time for the big 1000. There it is, 999. I'm assuming nothing else is going to get raided. Like, just I'm just going to take a guess that nothing else is going to get raided that I've done that's probably unrated. Like, who knows? Like, I've only been in a couple of unrated stuff. Needless to say, it's time. It was going to happen eventually. So, for my 1000th demon, I decided to choose Ethereal Artifice by Zoroa which probably has been one of those extremes that the majority of people have really, really enjoyed, just like Endless Dream and all those extreme demons that were really loved by the community. I'm not gonna really like explain here because I do need to play this at least. I just wanna at least get the grind going just in case if it takes me some time and if other things happen and you know, who knows what can release and what could be changed if it's not going to be ethereal artifice. So far what I have right now is that I have practiced the entirety of the green part and almost did the entire green part one run but uh, I failed to that one wave spam. But now uh, this level was actually requested a couple times by my friends. There's some people that I know that be in it and was like this is a really good extreme. Like I think you should do it sometime. And I will say the gameplay does have some really interesting bits to it that makes it really really fun to play at least for every game mode that doesn't have robot, I guess. Now, it isn't surprising that this level was formerly impossible because of 2.2, you know, the physics changed a lot and some of the parts of the level just made it pretty much nearly impossible. But luckily enough, Zorora came back and fixed the level, which was really nice. But not only that, I checked the comments and there was another thing that was missing from the level and it was this click right here at 51. This click Originally when it came out you could have hold, but that wasn't the intended strategy. But thankfully enough, Zorora also patched that out because that was originally there and that's how people pretty much learned the level anyways. Which I think was a really really good move because this definitely makes the jump flow a lot better in my opinion. Like it feels way better to do. Plus it doesn't make it like awkward in the transition. See what I mean? Like it feels so much better. That's a great example of how to make your levels play extremely well and if you haven't catched on yes i am using shake because not many people really have used shake in this level and i've also learned this level before shakes actually got a patch update or like a new change for like the sentence menu and all that but yeah no one really seems to play with shake and it is probably for one good reason only and it's that wave spam because i don't think shake should ever be in a wave spam part ever at least for something hard like it shake should just never be in a part of a level that's hard it could be for an auto part it could be for a transition it could be for an easy click to make a cool effect that uses the shake really well because it's not as intense and it doesn't ruin the gameplay of the level and i would say the ufo does a way better job as well even though it's pretty much the same shake in the same part again needless to say about the shake this level is still ridiculously hard and it's probably gonna take me some time because i haven't played an extreme in a while i've haven't played pretty much any extreme after 2.2 came out but now overall i've been having a lot of fun trying to learn the level there that should be good enough and there you go that's ethereal artifice I'll get. I'll do a couple of runs from zero, see how far I can get. I don't know if I'm gonna get to the green part, but actually I could. But I think I have to get used to the red part a little bit more because I haven't played it in such a long time, which is probably good for my next subject. When I actually started playing this level, this is once again another level I got for the rub. But this was for like a really far percent. Like it was a big bigger percent than like just like 20 or 30 or something this was for 58 percent literally i had to get 58 on this and this was after apparently i had to get 57 on oro but i didn't do that one because that one was just way too hard for me back then like i couldn't even bother my best on aura was still like 58 and even though i haven't played this level either when i got it for the roulette apparently when i got oro i had some progress on it so when i got it for the roulette it was like oh there's a chance that i probably could do it but that did not happen because Aura was way too hard, and it was definitely going to take a lot longer, because I was just going to get a percent on a level that literally wouldn't even do anything for me. Like, I'm not going to get anything out of it after I just got 57. It's not a new best, there's nothing. So yeah, that was, that was just a level I skipped. So I at least tried to do the next level, which was this. And oh my god, it was actually really, really hard to even play. Like, it felt 
so hard compared to everything else that I've at least played. I mean, probably not as hard as Cold Sweat because Cold Sweat was probably the one that was the most annoying one to get 27 on. But, you know, getting 58, like, that's a big run on this level. And back then when I did it in 2022, it was so hard. And it says a lot because I only got to the green part once from zero and I got it. Like, it was a clutch too because 58 is also in the wave as well but to actually get 58 i wanted to pass it and like just fail immediately to the first click but luckily enough it still counted and i got it all right i don't know how long it took me to get 50 on ethereal but it probably took me at least three to four streams or something i don't know but i also did it off stream as well to grind it so like i have no idea how many attempts i have at least just trying to do this from zero but it could be at least over three five thousand something like that i don't know if i really want to find that video though and i don't know if i want to spend my time trying to find it just to add old attempts so yeah funny enough i thought you know when i got 50 i was like okay this might be way too hard but now, playing it, it feels a lot better. Eighteen, alright, not bad. Now, considering 2.2 is out, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with the GDP stuff, because... Again, most of the stuff that I have to do are most likely in this area of difficulty. Also, yes, this is in the GDP, which I think is a great choice. But yet again, it's still really hard to work my way up on stuff like this. Plus, there's just going to be other stuff that I really want to do besides the GDP. At the same time, I'm just waiting for that I really want to be because those are the ones that I've been hyped for the most, which most likely will be this year. But at the same time, it depends on when that actually happens. Hopefully I can keep the pace of playing levels of this difficulty because that'll at least help me along with doing the harder levels. You know, as much of this as it is awesome to make progress, I still always complain about failing at stuff that isn't even remotely hard after you played it so many times. Pretty much with almost every level, I have gotten a new best on stuff that's not even remotely hard at all. And I'm saying that for extreme wise, not for like easy, easy levels, because sometimes that will happen all the time. You know what? That's a bit better. I'll, I'll take that. I kind of forgot what was about to come up in that part. I knew it was, I knew that part was coming, but I didn't know what was really up next in that part. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I did get to the green part, surprisingly. Man, this feels so much better than when I did it before. Obviously, I didn't get to 58 like I did for the first time, but you know what? It doesn't matter anyways, right? Because, you know, that green part is still pretty hard depending on how you have to do your click pattern. That ship, though, is probably, like, the hardest part in the red area. Like, it feels harder than... Okay, I don't know about about this ship, because this ship is still much harder than that, but still. Darn, I clicked too late. It looked like I had to click later, so I tried, and then I clicked too late somehow. I think the shakes definitely make it look weird on how you time your clicks. I think another reason why this level was actually still hard for me back then is because I did it on mouse. Like, what the hell? This level has a couple of fast inputs and I decided to play it on mouse. I mean, pretty much that's just how I played the game in general. But I guess it definitely plays a lot better on keyboard. I least learned in that like a year ago now. It's pretty much just been a year already since I played it on my keyboard and I didn't really state anything that I was switching because back in Christmas I was like, oh no, I can't really play on mouse anymore because my index finger was feeling weird. So I just decided to do a couple more demons by doing it on my up arrow but with a different finger because my index finger was not going to be able to play for a long while. So I played and weirdly enough I just clicked with just playing on up arrow. So I was like okay well I guess I'm playing on keyboard because it's going to play better but I guess I'm not switching fingers because that already changed. 
Weirdly enough, when I was doing my Sunset Sandstorm milestone, I guess I can just call it that now. When I was start grinding, I was doing it on up arrow because I save all my big stuff on mouse and like... I guess I just didn't even think of just switching anyways because I guess it did feel fine for the most part. After all that star grinding, I guess I should just go to up arrow. I definitely need my spacebar strat though because once again, I soft click and two, it's easy to get tired playing. What? I, I... You got to be kidding me, actually. Now I'm too late on that click. What? How am I too late on it? Are you serious? Okay, yeah. I was expecting that, honestly. That swoop is not easy at all. I actually got a real new best after 58. Oh man, I had consistency for a bit, but man, there's just so many ship parts that feel ridiculously hard in this level. I swear bro, why is that ship harder now? Like seriously, it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, I was expecting that. I was way too high, bro. Come on. What? How did I fail there? Oh my gosh, I probably need to hear my clicks. I don't think I was able to hear a fraction of my clicks, so I just failed at that wave. What did I even fail to? The saw? Is that what I failed to? The saw? Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot that. I literally got to the par pretty much almost twice in a row and I forgot a click. How does that even happen? We're pulling up the sloppiness again. Ugh, oh, I missed click the double click. Probably because I clicked so late on the blue orb that I couldn't hit the red orb. I know it. It's so hard to do that wave part with shakes on. It really feels impossible. And it surprises me that they're even in there. If somehow the shakes bother me so much in that wave part and I and it just somehow ruins my experience, I'm gonna turn them off, obviously, because I want to at least enjoy this level as much as I want to. I am having really fun with it, obviously. But at the same time, I don't know how much the shakes are gonna ruin my experience because Doing wave spam with shakes is just a nightmare. With all the consistency I've been building up in this red part, it makes me feel a little worried that the green part is going to just be harder. I probably will not be surprised if I feel like my opinion is going to change that the green part is probably one of the harder parts in the level. I mean right now the red part still feels really hard because there are some sections that still feel really difficult. But most of them are in the first half of it so I'm not sure. No, that time it actually didn't register. Damn it. I don't understand double click sometimes because usually a double click will sometimes register whether or not you hold them. Like sometimes when I do a double click for two different inputs, that's not like an actual double click. Both inputs will register, but I have no idea if double clicks can also register on the same exact frame now. That was almost twice in a row, but the lag didn't help. I know that's not how you're supposed to do it, but like, how would I even try to even do two fast clicks like that? Like, that just feels so ridiculous, especially if you're in the second half of the level already. Like, I don't think I'm doing that anytime soon. You have to be a Atomic Cannon Mark II in order to do those double clicks. Actually, that wouldn't even help either, because I would actually do the same exact thing. Because Atomic Cannon Mark II is actually one of the levels that you could probably use two inputs for. There are some levels that probably will not work with two inputs just because of how weirdly fast it is and doesn't work consistently by alternating. I feel like Atomic Kid and Mark II would unironically be a new hardest for me. Once again, I have no idea if I even fell. I think I did fall actually. Even though it's really fast and I couldn't even tell. I think I did fall.
I'm generally going to get very upset, though, if I am going to fail at stuff that is ridiculously easy. Click early. Why? Oh, why? Why there? I just find it insane how easy it can be to get frustrated at this game. I guess it really depends on who you are, but man. Even when just being super sloppy at times and failing at stuff that is ridiculously easy to you. Like, I just cannot express how ridiculously annoying it is. Honestly, what are the chances that I beat this in a call? The stupid saw blade again, dude, why? Okay, now I go too early, apparently. Oh, yeah, I clutch a click, and I fail at something that's easy. Come on, dude, that's just not cool. Stop. Again, I don't care if I don't beat this today, because that was probably expected. But, like, I'm still gonna be a little bit annoyed if this somehow takes me longer than I expect. This obviously is a really hard level, it's an emerald tier, so I am basically like working my way up again. But if I'm getting consistent sessions, I want decent attempts, I don't want ones that just ruin everything. And also, since this is pretty much like a thousandth demon, like, I feel like I would want this to get over with eventually, so that I won't have to think about like accidentally playing something else, or if something gets raided. But I have no idea if I really be in anything that's unrated that would get raided. Okay, fine. I'll play the green part because I suck at it. Am I actually doing it again? No, because I somehow messed that up. I really don't want to mess that up from zero, actually. Please don't do that. I cannot believe my session, dude. <sighs> of course, when I click so late, I click earlier on a different orb. Why? Because my muscle memory messed up. I'm disappointed. I failed at a straight fly. Yep, I failed at the easiest straight fly. <sighs> that wave is hard. Yeah, I'm, I... That, that was kind of expected. I think that's actually where I failed on the roulette thing, not gonna lie. That was not bad though, getting 70 and a lot of green attempts. That was really good, but like, oh my gosh, I don't want to lose consistency on stuff that feels super easy, bro. Come on, please don't do that. Alrighty, we're back. There was another thing that I forgot to mention for this level as well, because originally I was going to do this level as a Christmas special for uh, Christmas, because, you know, the level's red and green, and that's basically the theme of Christmas. It's red and green. Yeah, the lag made it too hard. So I was gonna get on that. It was basically like the second half of December already, and I was like, hmm, maybe I should make a Christmas special and do something that, you know, I've been asked by my friends a couple times for years to play this level. So I was looking into the level a bit and was pretty much trying to prepare that I was like, okay, eventually I'm going to start this level the night before, you know, something insane happened. I pretty much went to bed and was like, all right, I need to make sure I get this started so then I have enough time to upload this for my Christmas special. I woke up, I was gonna pretty much do the normal s stuff. It was another day, I was gonna also stream as well. And uh, when I got on my computer, I looked at Steam and the Geometry Dash wallpaper on Steam, you know, like those little wallpapers that shows you what game you're playing. The wallpaper changed to, you know, the wallpaper that pretty much was gonna represent, I guess, 2.2 or like a big new change for a Geometry Dash. And I was like, wait, the wallpaper changed. Are we actually close to 2.2? I had no idea what was happening that day anyway. So like, I was like, okay, you know, the wallpaper changed, that's insane. Moving on from that, I decided it was gonna be a stream day and I was like, all right, you know, I'm just gonna play levels and all that. I was gonna grind secret stuff, I guess. I mean, it's not really secret, but you know, it's gonna be for a video. So I was playing, do, doing the usual stuff, and then someone said, you know that 2.2 has been submitted, right? And I was like, wait, what? Like, yeah, more stuff that I didn't know about that pretty much there was proof that 
2.2 had been submitted and pretty much approved already. So it was pretty much the home stretch. I was like, okay, what? Is this actually real? So I was like, really like, okay, you know, a lot of stuff has been changing, you know, like the Steam stuff has been changing, you know, uh, the stuff has been updated. And I was like, wow, I cannot believe that we're actually going to be close to the update. So I was like, okay, I guess that stuff has happened. I was like, all right, maybe later tonight I'll start doing this level and then like, you know, see how it will go and whatnot. No, that did not happen. Because you know what happened that night? You know what happened like around that specific night where everyone was freaking out? I was like, wait, what's happening? And then, you know, you get a tag from Romtop that says, you know what it's time for? Me to tell you to check Steam. Well, this is actually what really happened because like notifications are not on for me. The only way I found out about the release of 2.2 was through a random Twitch stream. Yeah, someone mentioned in chat that on that stream 2.2 was out and then the person who i was watching like like he was flipping out he's like no you're capping you're cap you're f and then like he actually said like 2.2 is actually out for real and then i saw the f the frame i saw was more menus and i was like is this actually real so yeah this is why this level didn't happen because you know 2.2 actually came out and i was like great all right i guess this is not happening anytime soon but i guess that really did help in some way to move this on for a little while because obviously this level was impossible like i mentioned so it had to get updated but luckily the creator was still around to get the update for it so yeah this went from a christmas special to the big 1000 i guess that's just what i decided to do but you know what at least since it's possible now, I might as well just do it. I thought it was dead for some reason. The stupid swoop again, dude. Why is that hard? Stop. Again, like I said, the experience is just what pretty much brings your enjoyment down. Like, I can still give this a high enjoyment, but my experience could just ruin it all just because of how bad I'm playing. If there's something that messes with me in the level, then that becomes the level's fault and that ruins the entire experience and that will lower my enjoyment more. I'm still gonna bring examples between like Sync and maybe like Shardscape. Shardscape's gameplay pretty much has the satisfaction factor of doing all of that at one, which brings my enjoyment really high. Even though I got pretty unlucky and had to go through a lot of fails, even some dumb ones as well, the level itself with everything that's in it just still was a high for me. But stuff like Sync, you know, the gameplay was fun for the most part. I found the gameplay really fun. But then eventually, when I figured out how insane it was that there are real choke points that ruin your day and it's the level's fault, and there's just clicks that straight up feel like they don't work whatsoever. That is just completely obvious that my experience was ruined that when I got unlucky, it was also the level's fault for not letting me get good attempts in just because of certain parts that broke every single time. So that's why sync was not enjoyable whatsoever and I that's why I still dropped it. Like that's just it's just the most unenjoyable thing to at least go through if you're just trying to have at least fun with some of the gameplay that works. But that just doesn't help if most of the level's broken. Like, you can't have fun with a level if it feels broken most of the time. Like, how would you? That's insane. I think that's still one of the things why I relate to Nepesta so many times when he plays a video game. Because he still likes playing the games. But obviously, the complaint thing, it just, it just pretty much takes over. And, you know, that's why people think, oh, he's not enjoying stuff. Or, you know, that's why it's hard to enjoy stuff no you're still enjoying it it's just that the complaints are somehow taking over and it's just making it feel like it's more rough than it is stupid gab again stop Oh my god, bro, come on, just do it from zero.
No, I got too nervous. Yay. Literally, I was convinced that I was going to beat it just because I finally got past it. But nope. Nope. No. I'm just so f bad at this game. Yes! 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 Oh, let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh, finally! Let's go! Oh my god, I was getting a little stressed over this level. I beat Ethereal Artifice. Oh my god! It was a surprise. Help me surprise. Just so I show. One thousand. Oh my god. Finally, dude. One thousand demons. There it is. Ethereal Artifice. My one thousandth demon. Even though I'm way past that demon number at this point, but we don't talk about that. My apologies for delaying this video for like three months. I know that is kind of a long time for a hard level like this, but there were just other stuff that got in the way and, you know, those are going to be something else that I want to share in upcoming videos. But better late than never, so I can actually finish this video once and for all. What are my opinions on this level? I know I've stated this a couple times in the video already. Besides me playing in not the best way possible, that affected my experience a lot, even if it wasn't as long. I still think this is an amazing level, the gameplay is very satisfying, it's balanced in probably a perfect way, like I can't really think about certain parts that are balanced in a way that just makes it feel like it's a choke point in the level. I mean there are some sections that feel much harder, most likely just the beginning of the green part, that's just a little too fast for me. But everything else is very consistent, very fun. Nothing really got in my way if I actually played really well on the level. That's what I think. But yeah, everyone was right. This level is super fun and I really got I beat it. But unfortunately, to not my surprise, just to make sure I wouldn't struggle on this level any longer, I disabled Shaked at the last 30 minutes to an hour that I had to play on this level. I decided to disable Shake because it was going to be too much if I kept Shakes on and I didn't want to fail at that wave spam anymore. That was not going to be fun. Regardless, the shakes really do nothing on this level. It's it's still pretty hard. If you have the skill to go for this level, I would say definitely try it out. I'm not sure if I recommend it as a hardest because some people have tried to do it as a hardest and it's a lot to take in because it's a very fast level. But I don't know. Personally, I wouldn't do it as a hardest. That's a little bit much. Anyways, thanks for watching. 
Hope you all have a great day. Goodbye.